What's going on guys, Dual Outdoorsman here. Finally getting to make for you guys my 2019 Baycast Rod and Roar Arsenal. Very excited about this. Uh, I'm looking at my stuff right now. Only three no Baycast combos for this year, but very excited about it. And the ones that I didn't replace are still in good shape. So let's get started. So of these seven, five of them are Mike Iconelli series rods. Three of them delay uh, and two of them power. First one here, seven foot delay series. Um, seven foot delay series crankbait rod. Um, five, six to one tournament MB reel. Um, great reel for cold water, smaller crankbaits. It's pretty much where I'm at here. You know, smaller crankbaits right here. I'm joining Shatter up on right now. Use DT4, stuff like that. Any, any crankbait in that. Uh, quarter ounce, 5 16 3 8 ounce range specifically for this rod. Um, again, brand new. I owned one of these before, loved it, so I got it again. And that's like a 50 50 bend, too. Um, composite. Half glass, half graphite. And now this is the same thing. This is my 7 foot 3 brand new uh, Ike Series rod. Um, this is for my larger crankbaits, and this is paired on a 6.6 .6 to inch, slightly faster year ratio, but still on the slower side. Um, Abby Garcia Repo SX, first Abby Garcia I'm trying. Casting practice today, it actually set up quicker than my lose did, so we'll see how it does on the water. Um, right now, I just have a Spro Little John flat side crankbait for cold water again. Um, this is for my 3 8 outs plus crankbaits, up to usually that 5 8 outs range. I don't throw many more. Then bigger than that other than if I'm on a lake for a deep diver. Um, again, about a 50-50 bend, just three inches longer, 7.3 instead of just seven foot. And just maybe a smidge stiffer, maybe closer to like a 55, 45, but both great rods. Again, own this one before I bought it again. Next here is a rod from last year. Again, still in great shape, so didn't end up replacing it, but this is my shortest rod. Six foot four Ike series rod. And this is for my, this is my big jerk bait rod. Shorter, great for those twitches. Um, I hear I make a bass jerk bait on here. Great jerk bait. Um, but anyways, um, so and then a seven to one BB1 Pro series lose reel. Um, I like that, you know, faster, crankbait slash slower reaction, slower finesse bait type reel, because you want to pick up line, but you don't want to pick up line too fast, fish and jerk bait. So that's what I got there. Um, this is a 60-40 bend. Again, composite, uh, half glass, half uh, graphite. Um, again, specifically designed for jerk baits, and this is for like my larger jerk baits, my, basically my 3 8 outs plus jerk baits, like this Mega Bass 110. Vision one time. And that is my jerk bait rod. Next up here is another, this is a power series. Mike Piccinelli, seven foot two, seven foot two, medium heavy. Medium heavy. Now this rod's designed for jigs, but I've come to find the last couple years, I like a stiff rod for my chatter baits. This rod is specifically, specifically for nothing but chatter baits for vibrating jigs. Um, six four to one lose tournament speed spool. I like a little bit slower gear ratio for my chatter baits than I do for my spinner baits. Um, Fifteen pound Seaguar Visix fluorocarbon. Forgot to mention all fluorocarbon on all these rods, but one um, the seven foot crankbait rod and the six four jerkbait rod. Ten pound Visix, twelve pound Visix on the seven foot three. And again, this is fifteen pound on this. I could go to seventeen if I wanted to, but this gets, lets me get a little lower in the water column because my. 95% of my chatterbaits are either three eighths or half ounce. So, chatterbaits, jackhammers, they all get thrown off this combo right here. Same exact rod, another 7.2, like series, power series rod. And the, the difference is this is my spinnerbait rod. 15 pound Seaguar and Vitex as well, but a loose tournament MB and a 7.5 to 1. This way I can, if I want to, I can burn spinner baits and it's a lot easier to slow down than speed up. So it's great for that. Also, this is my 
uh, spinnerbait slash big jig rod. If I'm on a lake, I'm not fishing spinnerbaits. I want to throw a bit like a three eighths half ounce jig. This is it right here. This is what they're designed for. But again, last few years I've had great success with these rods for both chatter baits and spinner baits, so they work for that too. Um, another egg series. This is my final egg series rod in casting. Next, this is my finesse jig rod. Um, I lose custom speed stick. Again, as you see, finesse jig rod, seven foot two. They call it a medium heavy, but it's it's just really a super stiff medium, which is what I like for jigs for good hook, getting good hook sets. Lose super duty reel, eight point three to one ratio. It lets me pick up line quick. Um, love it. Ten pound secret and physics fluorocarbon. This is basically any quarter ounce jig I have. Football, finesse football, straight up finesse. Some wobble hit if I want to for shallow water in the river. Again, had this rod last year, loved it. Great rod, best jig rod ever used. And last but not least, my third new rod. Um, Johnny Moore's signature series Carbon Light 2.0. Um, RT4 technology, graphite technology, seven foot six. So six rod, I have a crankbait, a deep dive crankbait, just, just, for, just to get it dialed in, but 40 pound braid on here. This is my flipping stick. This is what I'm using for frogs, flipping a heavy jig, a heavy creature bait, either with straight braid or a 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, brand new loose tournament rod, or tournament reel. I think it matches up pretty well. Um, so this is a rod that again, I don't do a whole lot of that application other than lakes. But I can also speak for big top or like a big whopper plop or something like that. So I expect to get four or five years out of this combo because it's not getting used every day, maybe half the season at most. So. But those are my seven, the dual throw outdoors, seven, seven bait cast combos to go with my five spinning combos sitting over there. And before we know, we're going to be hot and heavy here on, on the water. I already got out last week once. So you just know, so keep it rolling. Dual throw outdoors are coming to you today. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. And I'll catch you later.